Hello, good afternoon. Today is September 1st, 2022, and it is 12.49 p.m. here in California. And I, I was gonna say, welcome to the Burrow Months. It's amazing because the Burrow Months are a third of the year, which is incredible. Today I'm gonna read Colossians chapter one. And uh, Lord, we thank you for giving us your word we pray for eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts that will receive and for we pray for impartations of what you're speaking in in here thank you lord it's all for your glory it's all for your glory in the mighty name of jesus amen this is titled thankfulness for spiritual attainments paul an apostle of jesus christ by the will of god and timothy our brother to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ who are at Colossae. Grace to you and peace from God our Father. We give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love which you have for all the saints because of the people laid up for you in heaven of which you previously heard in the word of truth, the gospel which has come to you, just as in all the world, also it is constantly bearing fruit and increasing. Woo! Hallelujah. Even as it has been doing in you also since the day you heard of it and understood the grace of God in truth. Just as you learned it from Epaphras. Our beloved fellow bond servant, who is a faithful servant of Christ on our behalf. And he also informed you that your love, or I'm sorry, he, and he also informed us of your love in the spirit. For this reason also, since the day we heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you will walk in a manner worthy of the Lord to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for the, for the attaining of all steadfast and patience, joyously giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. For he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son and whom we have redemption for the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, hallelujah, and the firstborn of all creation. Oh, glory to God. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, or rulers, or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is also the head of the body, the church, and he is the beginning, the first born from the dead, so that he himself will come to have first place in everything. Hallelujah. For it was the Father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Thank you. Everything is making sense. And through him to reconcile all things to himself, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Through him, I say, whether things on earth or things in heaven, and although you were formerly alienated and hostile in mind, engaged in evil deeds, yet he has now reconciled you in his fleshly body through death in order to present you before him holy and blameless and beyond reproach, if indeed you continue in the faith, firmly established and steadfast and not moved away from the hope of the gospel that you have heard, which was proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, was made a minister. Now I rejoice in my suffering for your sake, and in my flesh I do my share on behalf of his body, which is the church. 
and filling up what is lacking in Christ's afflictions. Of this church, I was made a minister according to the stewardship from God bestowed on me for your behalf, or I'm sorry, for your benefit, so that I might fully carry out the preaching of the word of God. Hallelujah. That is the mystery which has been hidden from the past ages and generations, but has now been manifested to his saints, to whom God willed to make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. We proclaim him, admonishing every man and teaching every man with all wisdom so that we may present every man complete in Christ. For this is the purpose I labor, striving according to his power, which mightily works within me. Hallelujah. It's amazing. Thank you, Lord, because uh, he's revealing himself more and more and more. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for, for showing us who you are, who you truly are. We want to be intimate with you. We want to know you. We want to be like John and put our head on your chest to hear your heartbeat, Lord. Mm. We, we love to know your voice. We love to hear your breath, Lord. We thank you. Bless everyone here, Lord. Bless their families. Bless their businesses. Bless their um, ministries. I pray, Lord, you call us all to you, Lord. Every single one of us whether they're believers or they're not. But I pray, Lord, that we all, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord, accept him. No, it's uh, Romans 9, 10. If you believe, I'm going to go to Romans so I can say it correctly. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And, and God the Father, Jesus, actually, Jesus sent his Holy Spirit down to earth so we can, we can be baptized with the Spirit and with fires who will be able to have the power, will be able to walk according, we are disciples of Christ, we will be able to walk according to Christ. And because because we see what he did, we are to do the same. Hallelujah. Christ. We will be able to walk according to Christ. And because because we see what he did, we are to do the same. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus.